Hannah Meyer from GameEnthuse.com, and Motor City Games has done a couple of things. Has done a couple of things very well. In Loaded Roll and Ride 1, they took us fishing. In Loaded Roll and Ride 2, Motor City Games got us familiar with some more advanced farming techniques. And in Loaded Roll and Ride number 3, and in a good way, Motor City Games took us for a ride with some pretty crunchy engine building. So the question remains is, where do you go after you've gone fishing, you've farmed, and you've been involved in the manufacturing of automobiles? What is the next logical step? Believe it or not, Motor City Games has an answer to that question. We're going on in New Orleans. We're going to the French Quarter. So French Quarter is the latest Loaded Rolling Right, Loaded Rolling Right number four from the minds of Matt Riddle, Ben Pinchback, and Adam Hill. These are the components in French Quarter. You're gonna have 48 action cars. So six different types. You have walking, carriage, taxis, riverboats, streetcars, and socialize. And the backs of them look like this. So these are the, the backs of the walking, carriage, taxi, Streetcar, name Desire, I couldn't help myself. Riverboat, and Socialize. There are four road closure markers, to be completely frank with you, uh, and still be Aaron at the same time. Uh, I'm honestly not sure what these are for. Um, hopefully I haven't been playing wrong this entire time, but you know, life happens. And the game is playable from one to four players. Each player will pick one of the, uh, the tokens here, so you have uh, the trumpet, two very well-dressed people, and an umbrella. These would be your players one through four. And the fleur de -lis here would be the uh, first player marker. In addition to all that, you're gonna have nine action dice. And the color of the dice do correspond to the different types of action cards. There is a solo mode in the game where you use these mayor cards. And how the mayor cards work is they're gonna allow the AI to remove dice that you're unable to use, so going from the top down, well, top down, would be the order in which the AI in that particular round would take dice. There's also a Kickstarter expansion called the Tourism Expansion, where everybody would get a vacation card, and these are just different buildings that players are gonna want to get to in order to get eight victory points at the end of the game. And they're all different, so you have the fashion outing, music scene, foodie, pub crawl, Mardi Gras, family vacation. Just different spots that are around the map. Now looking a lot dustier than I thought before I put it on camera. Dice tray does not come with the game and I also have no idea why I'm bringing this up at all. So I'm gonna show you what a three player setup might look like and I know it might seem funny but in order to do that I'm basically gonna just be moving these out of the way and removing one green and one yellow and then these are gonna be the dice that everybody's gonna be able to, to choose from. I guess the umbrella's gonna go away. So these are gonna be our players here. Everybody would have their own individual sheets, so I don't really know why I'm having these other two out. So the three player will be reflected in the fact that there are fewer dice. So we're gonna pretend that these two uh, people are gonna go off to their own sheets that are off camera, conveniently off camera, and be worrying about their own sheets. When the game begins, every player is going to begin at the Ama House Hotel, so you would take wherever your player marker is and put it there. And then a player, let's say it just happens to be the starting player, would take uh, a single die, roll it, oh, six, and that would determine where the second line begins. So it might be a little hard to see. There's a one pit value there, a two pit value there, and a six is actually right here on Decatur Street. You might just circle that as an indicator that that is where the second line is going to begin. And from here, it can move north, south, east, or west. So the first step that will happen is the planning phase, which you would reveal the top card of each one of the action decks. That's pretty much already happened. Let me just go over what some of the iconography is and how it maps out. On the walk card here, there's a star. And the star is pretty much a wild, which means you're able to check the leftmost unchecked box on any one of these tracks between Bourbon Street here up to Decatur. And if you also notice these streets are reflected 
on the actual map itself. I really want to start working on this track, the shopping track here on Conti Road, because once I get to this window bonus, I can use a wild once. And then once I get to the, the third thing over, I can unlock this, which lets me every umbrella I get is two umbrellas, which makes it even easier to get three to get the star, which is a wow, which lets me immediately check off another box on any one of the tracks. Another very useful one is on the mysticism track uh, for St. Anne Street. Start a personal second line. So the second line, if anybody takes the socialized die, they get to decide where the second line moves. And if you happen to have a building that you visited, along the path where the second line is going, you get to mark into this area here, which are basically points at the end of the game. So every every checked box or filled in square is a point at the end of the game. And whenever you get to the end, whenever you get nine, the ninth box over here automatically unlocks an umbrella. And if you already have this one, then you get two umbrellas and you can see how it just, it just goes. And you're smiling, you're checking things off. And yeah. All right, let's keep it simple. So I'm going to let's say uh, I'm going to take this three. So player one's going to take this three. And that also means that they have a while so they can check off anything they want. So let's say I'm going to fill that in. So I filled in that first box there. And because you card actions first, now my movement action. I'm already right here. You don't write any numbers in there just yet. And I can, based on walking, I can move one to two spaces. So I want to move over here to it might be a little bit hard to read to Coop's Bead Emporium. So I move my little thing here. So that means because I picked a three, I have to draw. I have to write a three in here. There's rules about what numbers you can write and where. So orthogonally adjacent to any place you visit, you can only write in numbers that are equal to minus one or plus one. What the number is. What that means is for these spaces right here that surround this orthogonally, I can only put in a two, a three or a four. So the same number, one less than what I already have here or one more. Let's say I put a four right here. So now the rules for what's surrounding this one are I can only have a three, four or five here, here or here. Okay. So I went to Coop's Bead Emporium and it might be a little bit hard to see, but on the building itself, there is a shopping district icon. So that means I get to check off another box on the shopping track. And that box happens to have the window, the, uh, the window bonus icon, which means now I've unlocked this first window bonus. And this is use a W instead of a number once. And once I do it, I will just cross it off, meaning I've used it, but I haven't used it yet. So it's just there. I guess I could circle it. So I know that I have it. And once it's gone, I'll just scribble it out. What that means is on a subsequent turn, I can just write a W anywhere. And that W is a wild. So it can be a wild depending on what I want it to be and where. So it really can go anywhere, which is kind of nice. So I could put a W here and then put a six here because it might be a three, four or five to this three, but it might be a five or a six if I had a six here. So it can be whatever it needs to be when it needs to be it, if that makes sense. Diagonally doesn't matter. So I could put a six here diagonally. I just might not be able to based on what's here or wherever. So if that makes some sense. I got to do the movement action, building action. And then that was that was me very uh, laboriously describing the map action in which the value of the chosen die of the building has to be within plus one, minus one or the same value. And that's orthogonal only, not diagonal. Okay, and as the round goes, this was just the starting player's turn. Everybody else would be picking, uh, picking die that they want and playing with other people. And everybody would get two turns. So everybody would get two chances to go around. So let's say uh, players two and three uh, pick these. So now they're out of the game. Well, they're, you know, they're not accessible anymore. And it'll be my turn. Let's say I did pick the socialized die. So socialized lets me unlock a box on the Bourbon Street track and look at that and the shopping track, which is the, the green Conti Street track there. And this one has the Fleur de Lis slash window bonus. I'm going to take the window bonus right now 
which means going forward, every time I get an umbrella, I'm going to, instead of checking off one box here, I'm going to check off two. So, very key. All right, so I did the card action movement. I can only move one space. So, this is also a five, which might not have been the best idea because it's a five. Ooh. Um, hmm. All right, so I'm just going to move down here, move down here to Rue the Day Tavern. And as you can see, it has an umbrella icon and a shopping track icon. So I will take my umbrellas right now, but I'm gonna take two because of my ability that I have going forward. What I should have done already was I'm gonna use my wild already. So I'm just gonna write a W in here. So this happens to be whatever number I needed to be for the rest of the game. Um, glad I unlocked it because I could not have written a five here because for a three, writing a five here is not the same plus one or minus one. That wild is done, it's been scribbled out, it's gone. I miss it so much. And then the other two players will go and take their turn. So let's say they took these and those are out of the game. There's always gonna be one die that is unused at the end of a round. And because I took the socialized die, that means I get to decide what direction the second line moves in. And because I am I have stuff that I'm working on here, I have the second line moving north. And everybody on their individual sheet would draw that. And anyone that happens to have any buildings on the sheet where the second line is, they would get to cross off a, a box on the second line track there. So you really wanna make sure that you're getting things in places where you can, because it can really become a good uh, a good scoring opportunity because if you have a bunch of buildings where the second line is, every time someone takes the pink die, you would score for every building that is where the second line's path has been, not just where it moved to. Anyway, I've said a lot of things. Let me go back up top and wrap up my thoughts on French Quarter. So as you saw a little bit of the gameplay there, you can see how combo-tastic French Quarter really is. You know, every turn isn't going to be as great as another one. Taking the short turns is fine. Take one of those long turns and you're getting umbrellas, getting the wilds, going over here to get this on the track, which unlocks this, which might get you a performer, which unlocks more things on the performer track. It just, it never gets old. Just unlocking more things and just taking a really long turn, preferably to the annoyance of those you're playing with. It doesn't get any better than that. French Quarter makes for a compelling visit like a real vacation would. So many things to see, do, mechanics to employ with a small humorous dose of realism, should you have too much fun. My advice, have too much fun. Anyway, there should be a link in the description down below to the Kickstarter page for French Quarter, should you wish to back it. Motor City Games has done it again. You may as well too. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and be blessed.